Today we're going to talk about the latest in NDI encoders and how we can use NDI to send video from a camera or other video device around our studio. It's a great way of connecting switchers and graphics and cameras all together for one IP-based live production workflow. But these NDI encoders do so much more. They'll encode RTMP, they'll encode SRT, this one will decode SRT, this one will take in USB. In fact, it does so much that I've actually created slides to walk you through, which is something that I've never done before because there is so much to unpack here and I wanna make sure that I get this across to you in the clearest fashion possible so that you understand how amazing this encoder is on a fundamental level. So let's take a quick look at the box itself, and then we'll get to the slideshow. On the front is a little LCD display, which is not on right now because it's not plugged in, but this shows the PTZ cam logo and the IP address and the CPU and the temperature. The IP address is nice because you can just look at it and know what you have to type in your browser to get to the web UI. Uh, that's better than some devices where you just kind of have to guess or do a search. On the back are a couple of connections that are pretty unassuming at first glance, but we have audio in and out, SDI in and out, HDMI in and out, Ethernet and USB. But over here, the SDI input, the HDMI input, and the USB are all their own independent encoders. So we can have an SDI stream to NDI, we can have an HDMI stream to NDI, and we can have a USB camera to NDI. And then this is a loop through, but this HDMI out can actually be the mix out. So we can decode NDI to this, we can decode SRT to this, or we can do a mixture. So we can decode, we can make this a two up or a three up of our sources, our SDI, our HDMI, our USB, and our NDI HX decode, or our SRT decode, or are any combination of any of the sources that we will take a look at uh, a little bit further on in the system. But next, let's take a quick look at the slideshow to see how we can take all of these ins and outs and mix them together. And the reason for the slideshow is to give you an idea of all the different ways that we can use this, because there's a lot, a lot going on here in how these different inputs and outputs can work together. I've used a PTZ cam camera here in order to connect um, to show you how the different connections can go. These cameras can output SDI, HDMI, USB, RTSP, and SRT, as well as NDI HX. That should be on this list as well. And we can plug them into the encoder, which can take any one of these formats as an input. And then the next slide shows the different en encoder sources. So if we call this the ENC3, that means there's three sources, which is for the SDI, HDMI, and USB, but really there's five sources, and, and it actually gets even more complex than that. But IP basically means uh, SRT, RTMP, um, HLS, uh, RTSP. It will take in those sources and it will encode them to NDI. And then there's a mix. So the mix is an input. It can be any one of um, any one of the inputs already in the system. It can be the SDI, uh, HDMI, USB, NDIHX, or IP stream, or it can be a mixture of those um, in a multi-view or in picture-in-picture. -picture. There are a number of ways to arrange the mix. And then the mix can be output by NDI or um, HDMI or uh, RTSP or SRT. So the mix has its own encoder. And this will make more sense when we get to the part where I actually show you how it works, but I want to walk you through it. So on the right here are the outputs. So each SDI, well, the SDI input has NDI, SRT, and RTMP out. The HDMI has its own NDI, SRT, and RTMP out. Same with the USB, the IP, and the mix, meaning that we can get five NDI outputs. And we actually get more than that, but let's stick with five for now because this could become a very cluttered slide if we did everything. And, or, each of these could be SRT, and, or, each of these could be RTMP. And then the mix, we can output via HDMI. Um, we can also output any one of these sources individually by HDMI as well. And then, in the next slide, we cover the different sources for mix so we have our SDMI, HDMI, 
SDI, HDMI, USB are four network decoders. So those can be RTSP, SRT, RTMP, HLS, TSUDP, what, what have you. And then our NDI can all be shown individually in mix or in two by two, three by three, one plus two, picture in picture or singly. And then that mix can be outputted to NDI, SRT, RTMP, or HDMI. So you can see why we put a slide together because it just it becomes a mouthful. And then last, um, the concept that this is a bi-directional encoder and decoder, it can either work with a copy of vMix, which can both send and receive SRT, or it can work with another ProAnc3. So we can have two ProAnc3s at either end of the internet, and each is taking a camera and sending that as SRT and decoding that SRT and outputting it as a monitor, or we can put vMix in there. It's all interchangeable. SRT is happy to work either way. But this is also true of NDI HX. So if we wanted to encode a camera as NDI HX and then decode an NDI HX feed, we can have that bi-directionally at both ends as well. So let's log into the unit itself. And this is where we configure it. And we just looked on the front of the unit and found its IP address and typed it in username and password. And we can see these are our seven different sources. We have our uh, SDI source, we have our HDMI source, we have our USB camera, uh, we have our network feed, which is a uh, decode um, from vMix. These are these net one and net two are two SRT feeds from vMix. We have our NDI receive, which is our uh, feed from our camera. So we have our PTZ camera. And then mix is our feed from um, four different sources. And I'll show you how to configure those later. So on the encode side of things, uh, this is what we have set up for our encoders. This is our eight different sources here. We have SDI, HDMI, our USB camera, our four different network sources, and our mix source. And these are um, the ones that are enabled. Uh, so right now I've only got uh, six of them going because I'm not using Net3 and Net4. And we have, um, this is where we can set what profile we're using, what resolution, what bit rate, uh, frame rate, etc. And then we also have um, our advanced configurations. And then over here is our network stream. And this is what we're using for decode. So right now I'm taking two, uh, a basically program and preview out of vMix. Um, I've set these up as SRT listeners, but this could just as easily be an RTSP from a non-NDI camera or a regular camera or an HLS encoder or what have you. Uh, this, there's so many different RTMP um, configurations that we can put in the network stream. So I've enabled two of these. So I have network one and network two. So that's the IP streams that we have coming in. And then this is how we have our um, configuration uh, for the various IP outputs. So we have our uh, seven different um, sources here, our SDI, HDMI, USB, our two network sources, our received decoded NDI, and our mix. And we only have, um, one of these turned on for RTMP. So we're sending this off to a Wowza server right now, the HDMI source. And um, on the SRT side, we only have one set up. This one's going back to vMix that we will use as a demonstration to show you that we can use this bi-directionally with vMix. And on the NDI side, we have five enabled so that we can show the SDI and HDMI inputs um, both of the network inputs, so we're decoding those two SRT streams to NDI, ironically back to vMix, but uh, really it could be, you know, realistically we'd be sending SRT from an SRT camera or a remote um, SRT encoder or wh what have you to a local copy. And then the handy thing is, is we've turned these two SRTs into NDI um, using that. And then we're not turning our NDI, our received our, our decoded NDI stream into NDI because that's uh, pointless. And then we have our mix feed that we're turning into NDI so that I can easily show you what the output of the mix looks like. So that is our configuration. There's, um, let's, let's just take a quick peek at 
um, vMix so that you can see uh, how that's set up. So these um, five, uh, these six NDI sources, oh, let's get rid of that one. Um, let's just hide that. These six NDI sources, nope. These five NDI sources are the um, outputs from the encoder. So this, uh, I should probably label, I could label these um, SDI, HDMI, IP1, IP2, and mix. Right now they're just called stream zero through nine. Um, that's an automatically created um, one. And then this is our SRT feed. So we have uh, SRT decoding into vMix. So this one encoder is doing NDI encoding, NDI decoding, SRT encoding, SRT decoding all at the same time. Um, I'm going to take you back to the encoder so that we can take a look at how you configure some of the other components. The video mix component, this is where we set up what the, um, the grid is. So this is how the mix is configured because we can do one plus two, we can do three by three, but for now we're just going to do two by two. And over here, this is um, how we configure our, let's see, what was here? We'll just put net two. What's that? Yeah, that's a good one. So we have SDI, HDMI, our NDI decode, and our SRT decode um, shown on our HDMI out, and alternately it's being sent out via NDI. And then this is further, if we want to get um, a little bit more fancy, we can actually configure how this, um, this mix is configured manually by positioning each tile, how big it is and what its input is. And then this is what the HDMI output is showing. So it's showing the mix, but we could also set it to any one of the individual sources. And then whether this is on at all. The other thing that I wanna show you is NDI decode. Um, right now, this is our NDI source. And uh, I've basically just selected that from a list. Sorry, that's a little out of focus, but these are all the NDI sources present on the network. And we can decode any one of these that are NDI HX. We cannot decode full NDI with this. We can decode NDI HX, and then we can do whatever we want with it. We can encode it to SRT. We can encode it to RTMP. We can make it a part of our mix. We can do um, all different kinds of things with it. So that's a couple of the tools that the ProAnc 3 gives us, and what you do with them and how you implement them for your production is up to you. But hopefully, between all of the different kinds of inputs, whether you need to input SDI, HDMI, USB, or all of them, and whether you need to decode NDI or decode SRT to NDI or encode uh, an RTMP stream to SRT, this is a Swiss army knife of IP production. And I think it's probably um, my favorite encoder at this point, considering how many different things that it can do. It literally solves all of the problems that uh, somebody might run into in a live production environment. And the fact that two of them working as a pair can form an encode decode combo uh, is a really compelling, it's a really compelling option. Um, so obviously if you have any more questions about it, we're happy to answer them. I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution. You can reach our uh, info at usbroadcast.co. And thanks for spending some time watching us.